hole in one. Wow. A beautiful shot. So anyway, the thing about it is he was, the next hole we were playing, there was a lot of water over here and some tall grass. And, and I said, Bob, that's not the ball you were playing with. You had to hold one. He said, yeah. He said, that's it. I said, well, if I was you, I think I'd put that in my bag and save it. I don't. I wouldn't take the chance of losing it out here in all this tall grass and over here in the date trees. You know, I think I'd put that away. He said, yeah, I think you're right. I be, better put that in my bag and save it. So he did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was he in a prior life, a sniper? Yeah, I guess. Swat like <laughs> right in the cup the first shot? Yeah, Jeez. Well, it was. Yeah, yeah, it crosshairs was, on his putt. And yeah, his driver. It, it was a beautiful shot. Hole in one is very rare. You play golf? No, I'd, I'd be like Adam Sandler, Happy Gilmore Happy out there. Gilmore, I, I wouldn't be any good at yeah, golf. Well, I got a bad shoulder, yeah, so yeah. I probably couldn't to, do a follow through. Invite you to come out and join our club. I, let me see if I can do it with my shoulder. I'd yeah, like to give it a shot. Oh, yeah, we'd love to have you. It's just, see it's what just, I can just do. a good fun day, you know, good fun day. You can day. rent clubs out there, right? Hey, yeah, 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 you can rent clubs, yeah. I haven't mm -hmm. swung a club in a while. Yeah, yeah. Or right, somebody else, somebody loan you a set of clubs. There's no problem with that, you know, if you. Want to try I'm it. good at putting. I mean, right, well, I get, yeah, good. once let's, I get up on the uh, up there, I'm, I'm pretty decent putting. It's yeah, like, it's the long well, shot that usually. Well, putting if you can, if you're a good putter, you can shave. You can knock a lot of strokes off your score. Well, I'd have to make up for the <laughs> the driving and the mulligans getting up there and chipping all my way up to the to the green. That would be my problem. Yeah, but Willow Creek is shut down. Yeah, Willow Creek is shut down, and just on a personal note, if any anyone in the city or county can get it open or help get it open and I know it yeah, would be greatly right appreciated for the town and uh, I was working there of course I'm kind of pressed I was working there when it closed and uh, uh, it was a beautiful course I played it in 1996 and just one of the best courses in in Nevada really. So what happened to it they just? Well if you really want a short answer Bad management, that's all I can say for it, without going into detail. <laughs> Boy, that is a short answer. <laughs> and then, uh, going Boy. into detail, that's just bad management. <laughs> so. Holy mackerel. <laughs> oh, it you really, really cut that down fast, yeah, so, didn't you? you know, and, um, so. It's been down almost a year now. It's been shut oh, down. Oh, it's been uh, three or four years now. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's just yeah. Two years. It'll be two years, uh, no, it'll be two years uh, October the 8th. That's when it closed two years ago. It closed to be October the 8th, two years. That's that's the last day I worked, October the 8th. And what did you do when you worked there? Just uh, mainly brought the carts up when coffers come in, cleaned them up, put them back in the barn, or turned them around, sent them back out. Just charge them up, make sure the charge batteries them up, were yeah, right filled time, up. Yeah, at that time, yeah. Some, well, one time we had gas, put up gas in them, or put them on the charge, charge them up, turn around, and assist the players, you know, and uh, getting them on their carts and getting them out. And, Start a, lot of, and, uh, a lot of pointers on, uh, give them a lot of pointers on your golfing? Yeah, I just, <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't do that. I wasn't that good. But anyway, just tell them about the course and where the water was and so forth and so on. Just, just player assistance mainly. Your so, best game? I shot 76 at it Willow Creek one day. Wow. Yeah. That's What's the course record? Well, what was the course record? Oh, I mean, it's probably low 60s. Really? Or something. Yeah. Competitive then? Yeah, I, yeah, so yeah, I shot. Yeah, I shot 76 one day. That's my best round. Worst so, game? I know you don't want to say that. No, I, I don't want to hear that. So, <laughs> He'd rather not talk. Yeah, yeah. That was yesterday, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was the worst game Well, like I said, I was at the post office the other day, and I told uh, the lady, asked me if I was going golfing. I said, yeah. And she said, well, it's kind of windy out there to play golf in. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. The worst day I ever ever had on the golf course beats the best day I ever had at the post office. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been told that quite a bit. Yeah, so anyway, I know I was gonna mess that one up though. Yeah, but I've I've heard that yeah, before. Yeah, it, that's true. Bad day at home is better than a good day at work anytime. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, we're winding down the, the, our time here. Right. Goes oh, by fast. It really does. It really does. <laughs> I would, uh, I'd like to, if I got a minute here. Sure. I'd just like to say this. Uh, couple of ladies. They just had the uh, Miss Senior Nevada pageant in um, Las Vegas, I think. I forgot which casino was that now or which one. But anyway, I just want to congratulate a couple of ladies here. Uh, fourth runner up from Pahrump was Stormy Caprice. Mm. Miss Congeniality was Sharon Kalen of Pahrump. So I just want to congratulate, congratulate those two ladies. All right. Yes, that is an achievement. That's yeah, good. Yeah. So, 
So it's oh, great, you know, that uh, the ladies get out and do that. Or, you know, it's just uh, uh, at our age, you know, when you can get out and do things, it's just really because there's other people who are really not able, you know. So you just got to yeah, be thankful. Take it for granted. Thank you, know. you know, you got to be thankful every day you can get out there. So. All right. Well, that will do it uh, for this week's show. I'd like to see you back here next week. We'll have another guest. So remember, till then, you have a story. I want to hear it, and I want to share it with everyone else. I'd like to thank my guest, Dave Cooper, for being on the show. I thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for calling me and having me here. I've enjoyed it. It's been a great day. All right. You have a good day, and we'll see you all next week. Simplify. <laughs>